Good morning students. In our previous lessons, we have learned how to solve quadratic equations by factorization method and also by completing the square method. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equations using the general formula. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to drive that formula used to solve quadratic equations and also know how to apply that formula in solving quadratic equations. And you should also be able to use that formula to solve some word problem questions related to quadratic equations. So this is what we have today, which is x squared plus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We would like to use the general formula to solve this problem. So how is the general formula? Um, well, let me write the general formula first, solve the equation, but later on drive the formula. I think this will be fine. So this is the equation we have. Step number one, you should write the data. That's what we call A, B, and C. You all know this. A is always the coefficient of x squared, right? And you know it is the number attached to x squared, which is 1 naturally here. B is the coefficient of x, which we have here as 4. And lastly, the constant. We have it as negative 21. Next, you should write the formula. The formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus into square root of b squared minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c. And you can also call it 4ac, all the same, right? 4ac. This is square root. The whole of this divide by 2 multiplied by the leading coefficient a. So this is the general formula used to solve every form of quadratic equation. So having our data a, b, c, all we have to do is to plug them into this general formula. So x, what should I write it here? Let me start here. x equal to b is 4, but we need minus b, that is minus 4. So we have minus 4 plus or minus into square root of b squared, that is 4 squared, minus 4, a is 1, c is negative 21. The whole of this should be divided by 2 multiplied by a, a is 1, you can see that here. So let's simplify this. Um, x is equal to minus 4, right? plus or minus 4 squared is 16 right so we have square root of 16 uh, minus okay since we have minus minus remember we are multiplying here minus 4 times 1 times okay let me start here minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 then minus 4 times minus 21 will give us plus 84 so this will be plus 84. The whole of this divide by 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, right? x is now equal to minus 4 plus or minus. 16 plus 84 will give us 100. Take note of these steps. Divide by 2. Square root of 100 is 10. So this is minus 4 plus or minus 10. Divide by 2. Now we have two values of x. Let us split them. x could either be equal to minus 4 plus 10 divided by 2 or x equal to minus 4 minus 10 divided by 2 because I told you you should use this plus or minus to, to split the two values. So minus 4 plus 10 will give us plus 6 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So you can see that x is equal to 3 here. Or minus 4 minus 10 will give us minus 14. And minus 14 divided by 2 will give us minus 7. And x can be minus 7. So you can see that by using the general formula, we are able to solve this quadratic equation. And one of the significant of this general formula is that it can solve every form of quadratic equation you know. 
even if the leading coefficient is not one something like negative two or three or any other value here even if the quadratic equation has complex roots you can use general formula to solve it so now i would like to drive this important formula remember in our previous lesson we have learned how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square method so that method of completing the square is what we are going to apply to drive that general formula so let me wipe the board